Hello everyone. Welcome to new class. Today's class is the continuation of the problems related to Ruth Harbit's criterion. So if you didn't watch the previous classes that is part 1 and part 2 please go through it. The link will be given in the description box. So let us go through the problems. Determine the range of K for stability of unity feedback system whose open loop transfer function is g of s equal to k divided by s into s plus 1 into s plus 2. So, to analyze the stability using root criterion, we have to know about the characteristic equation. So, we, it is given that the open loop transfer function g of s is k divided by s into s plus 1 into s plus 2. So, to determine the characteristic equation, we have to find the closed loop transfer function. And it is C of s divided by R of s and that is equal to G of s divided by, this is unity feedback system. So, G of s divided by 1 plus G of s. H of s is 1 here. That is K divided by s into s plus 1 into s plus 2 divided by 1 plus k divided by s into s plus 1 into s plus 2 and that is equal to on taking LCM and simplifying we get k divided by here we get s into s plus 1 s plus 2 plus k so characteristic equation is the denominator of this closed loop transfer function. So, characteristic equation is S into S plus 1 into S plus 2 plus K equal to 0. So, here opening the bracket we get S into S square plus 3S plus 2 plus k equal to 0 and here on multiplying with this s we get s cube plus 3 s square plus 2 s plus k equal to 0. So, this is the characteristic equation and using this characteristic equation we have to construct the root array. So, here the highest power of s is 3. So, let us make the root array with s cube then write the coefficients of odd number of s that is here 1 then 2 next is s square that is 3 and k next is s raised to 1 and that is 3 into 2 divided minus 1 into k divided by 3 that is 6 minus k divided by 3 and here it is 0 then s raised to 0 is multiply these two and minus these one. So we get k itself here. And for the system to be stable, there should not be any sign change in the elements of the first column. So choose the value of k so that the first column elements are positive. So, here k is present in these two rows. So, choose the value of k so that the first column elements are positive. So, here there is only k. So, for the system to be stable, for the system to be stable, this k should be greater than 0 and while considering this row that is s raised to 1 row for the system to be stable this value should be greater than 0 6 minus k divided by 3 greater than 0 then only the first column elements will be positive and hence the system will be stable in that case only. So here while solving we get 6 minus k is greater than 0. 
that is k is less than 6 so we get the range of k as k is between 0 and 6 that is range of k for the system to be stable is range of k for the system to be stable is 0 less than k less than 6 so this is the value of k for the system to be stable let us do another problem the open loop transfer function of a unity feedback control system is given by g of s equal to k divided by s plus 2 into s plus 4 into s square plus 6s plus 25. By applying the root criterion, discuss the stability of the closed loop system as a function of k. Determine the value of k which will cause sustained oscillations in the closed loop system. What are the corresponding oscillating frequencies? So here also the open loop transfer function is given with the value of k. So by you to use the root criterion we have to find the characteristic equation first. For that the closed loop transfer function we have to write that is c of s divided by r of s equal to g of s divided by 1 plus g of s here h of s is 1 because unity feedback system so we have to find this first and that is equal to k divided by s plus 2 into s plus 4 into s square plus 6s plus 25 divided by 1 plus k divided by s plus 2 into s plus 4 into s square plus 6s plus 25. Now taking the LCM and simplifying we get k divided by s plus 2 into s plus 4 into s square plus 6s plus 25 then plus k so the characteristic equation characteristic equation is s plus 2 into s plus 4 into s square plus 6s plus 25 plus k equal to 0 so here do not confuse with s and 5 make a difference for the 5 here or s so here while simplifying we get here it is s square plus 6 s plus 8 then s square plus 6 s plus 25 plus k equal to 0 and here we get s raised to 4 plus then here 6s cube, here also 6s cube, so we get 12s cube plus then 25s square, here 36s square, then 8s square. So we get it as 69s square, then plus here 6 s turn into 25 that is 6 into 25 s then 8 into 6 s so we get 198 s then plus 8 into 25 is 200 then plus k equal to 0 so this is the characteristic equation from this and using this we have to construct the root array so here the highest power of s is s raised to 4 so s raised to 4 elements are 1 then 69 then 200 sorry 200 plus k we have to write because this is a constant term here now s cube is 12 
then 198 a square we have to construct that is 12 into 69 minus 1 into 198 divided by 12 12 into 69 minus 198 divided by 12 and here for simplicity we we can divide this row with 12 so s cube row we can write again that is 1 here we get 16.5 so here s square is s square elements are written with the previous two rows that is s raised to 4 and s raised to 3 elements 1 into 69 minus 16.5 divided by 1 and we get 52.5 the next element is 1 into 200 plus k minus 0 divided by 1 and we get 200 plus k s raised to 1 is obtained with multiplying these two that is 52.5 into 16.5 minus 200 plus k divided by 52.5 and we get 666.25 minus k divided by 52.5 here it is 0 then s raised to 0 element is it will be this one that is 200 plus k so this is the root array so for the system to be stable there should not be any sign change in the elements of the first column hence choose the value of k so that the first column elements are positive so the value of k are in these two rows that is in the first column so while considering s raised to 1 row we get 66.25 minus k divided by 52.5 should be greater than 0 that is we get the value of k as k is less than 666.25 for this system to be stable and while considering s raised to this is s raised to 1 row and while considering s raised to 0 row we get 200 plus k should be greater than 0 and k should be greater than minus 200 but practical values of k starts from 0 so we can write the range of k as 0 less than k less than 666.25 so this is the value range of k now we have to find the oscillating frequency for that we have to put the value of k in this row that is in the first column of this row so while when k is equal to 666.25 in the s raised to 1 row that is put put k equal to 666.25 in s raised to 1 row then we will get it as 0 that is s raised to 1 row is 0 that means a row with all 0 a row with all 0 means there is a possibility of roots on imaginary axis so roots on imaginary axis is a possibility and a system will oscillate if it has roots on imaginary axis and no roots on right half of s plane so to find the oscillating frequency 
we have to find the coefficients of we have to find the auxiliary equation that is here auxiliary equation is the row above the all zero row that is auxiliary equation is making with the elements of this s square row that is auxiliary equation auxiliary equation is 52.5 s square plus 200 plus k equal to 0 that is here we have to find the value of s square that is s square equal to minus 200 minus k divided by this 52.5 and that is equal to here we have to put the value of k that is k equal to 666.25 and after substituting we get s square as minus 16.5 so, S square is minus 16.5 and we get the value of S equal to plus or minus J 4.06. So, when K is equal to this 666.25, the system has roots on imaginary axis and, it's, and so it oscillates. And the frequency of oscillation is given by the value of root on the imaginary axis that is frequency of oscillation is so the frequency of oscillation omega is equal to 4.06 radian per second which is given by the value of root on the imaginary axis and the system oscillates when k is equal to 666.25. Also, the range of k is between 0 and 666.25. So, that is about the problems related to root criterion. Thank you for watching the class. If you like the classes, please like, share and subscribe my channel.